Good morning. This is a 2010 uh, Subaru Outback, and this is a drive shaft. So this is what goes into the front diff here. This is what bolts in the middle there. And this is what connects to the uh, back diff here. And this is going to be four uh, 12 millimeter bolts. Uh, the nuts are going to come off, and then the bolts come out the back. I'm going to show you underneath the car. And these are both. 17s and the whole thing there's a heat shield that goes over it the heat shield has four bolts which are 12 millimeter i'll show you that when we get in there and these are the u-joints and on these ones they can't be replaced uh i don't even know if you can replace them on new cars at all now but older ones you could let's go into the car it's loud and hot this morning all right so here's the new quotes uh used drive shaft which is right there it's above the exhaust this is the heat shield i was talking about one two and then three and there's another one right there uh i had to put a small ratchet in there as opposed to a gun because the exhaust blocks it you can take those bolts back there and move it a little bit but i'm working under laying under a car as opposed to on the lift so um here if you can see that is where it goes in the shaft goes in you're gonna have to jiggle it a little bit to slide it in but that's where it's a splined shaft uh, so you jiggle it a little bit and it'll eventually go in that's where the shaft is oh, this is awesome quality huh uh and this is the two bolts there's one here and there's one on the other side that uh bolted up in the middle then it continues on there goes over the exhaust and that's the end of it right there and that's going to be the four um 12 millimeter i believe nuts on the other side of that they have lock washers on them you're gonna have to either chalk the tires um or taking them off is easier you can use two 12 millimeter uh wrenches you can't fit a socket in there, so it's just kind of a pain, but you can use the two, two 12 millimeter wrenches and use one as like a stop and loosen them. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's really not too bad. It's just the four bolts there, the two 17s that hold it up and slide in that shaft. And the order that you're gonna wanna do it, um, first take off the heat shield. It's so close to this, cause I'm laying under a car. First take off the heat shield, then you can take uh, either these two big bolts off, the 17s right here, if you want, and that'll drop it down because it's still gonna sit on the exhaust. And then go take those four out. Um, and once you get those four out, the, that's gonna drop down. And to pull it out, I recommend pulling it that way. Uh, I managed to get it just past right there and slid it back so I could pull this part. <laughs> Again, high quality video. This part out here, and then I, there's enough space on the other side of this exhaust to slide the whole thing down towards the front of the car, which will go down there. And then the uh, uh, install is just the reverse. Slide it back up in there. I put the two bolts up here. Put the, well, first push it back in there. Uh, you get the picture. Um, you can do it. It's an easy job. Just over explained and laying on the ground. It's really close cameraing. So, but you can do it. Uh, Stay cool. Have a great day.